Oh my god, I muted the mic again. Hello everyone. I am, I don't know what's clicking. One of my hard drives is clicking, or my devices. I don't know. There's a USB device that's clicking. You're going to hear some clicking throughout the thing. Actually, I could turn my sound, my system sounds off. It's just, it's been doing that since the weekend. I don't know what is causing it. Um, let me do, actually, I can just mixer. Sound. There we go. I don't think that affects my desktop audio, but we'll see. Because I need to react to this. I'm reacting to the Limited Run Game Showcase, or LRG3 as they call it. Because it usually happens during E3. E3 is not a thing this year. It's the Summer Game Fest. But they decided, hey, we're still going to have our E3 showcase. So that's what they're doing. I was hoping, I was really hoping... Uh, because they st it started about an hour ago. I was really hoping, because I was going to be busy, I'm like, I should be, like, ideally ready, like, half an hour into their live stream, but I think I will set it at an hour later, because I have no clue how long it's supposed to be. So I'm like, I will set my time, my my stream time to react to this an hour later, because I should have enough time to grab something quick to eat, so that can sustain me throughout the showcase, and then I should be good to go. Um, I got tied up, so <laughs> like I just got here just at the time that I promised I would be here. So uh, I'm here reacting. I am starving. I haven't eaten anything. I've got like I'm like lightheaded. So I just got some like uh, some snacks and stuff that I had readily available for me to just like quickly grab. They're crunchy. So you might hear me crunching through <laughs> through this uh, presentation. Um, aside from the, the personal stuff going on, um, I usually, like, I probably would have normally skipped this. We have our Summer Games uh, Fest reactions that we're doing Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday. Who knows if there's going to be more, but those are planned so far. Uh, we're going to be doing that on our group podcast channel called Spawn Trap. So it's over the Spawn, Tra the Spawn Trap podcast channel on youtube and twitch if you want to watch live um so that's where they'll be uh this one was sort of last minute it snuck up on me and i just thought i'm like oh yeah what is limited run games doing and i think a couple days ago or a couple days prior to me searching what they're doing that's when they made their announcement which no other nobody else is reporting on which i find is strange like nobody wants to report on limited run games i think they're a legitimate publisher they're a big deal um, their thing is that they, they publish physical games. That's the whole thing is they want to make physical games, um, you know, uh, preserve gaming history. They make physical copies of like digital only titles and, and stuff like that. And the whole thing is that they run for a limited time. It's a limited run. So that's the point of the, that's the point of the name. Now, usually I watch these. I'm like, oh yeah, this is cool. I understand why people get excited for these. Uh, it's not really for me. I'm a digital only guy. I will say this past year or so has proven the importance of physical games. Uh, and I'm starting to collect and buy physical games more often than I have been the past few years because I've usually been all digital. I understand the importance of physical games now that we've seen likes of PlayStation wanting, wanting to shut down their uh, services, uh, Nintendo shutting down their services for older consoles, um, a lot of uh, licensed stuff and, and other things being uh, like deep or um, like not renewed or, or deep platform or unpublished or whatever. It's just impossible to get. And I, th I feel like I've been um, sort of, uh, I don't know what the term is, um, I guess used to or uh, like privileged uh in the xbox ecosystem where they like the start of or not the start of the xbox 360 i'd say like midway through the 360 life cycle um you know there's the introduction of the digital games xbox live arcade but it was really at the point where they started going okay day one digital the our day one launch this game's also going to be available digital from there they've went uh hard on digital and backwards compatibility 
So I've just been used to, okay, just all my stuff's digital. It's available on the cloud. I can get it whenever I want. My entire library on Xbox is digital. My DS library was all digital until recently because for obvious reasons. Um, uh, Switch was mostly digital. Like I just, again, recently I've been buying some physical Switch stuff. So, uh, so for me, I've just been used to, okay, it's just all digital. I always have access to it. Uh, it was my birthday... Uh, how long ago? If, if a few, uh, la- a month ago. It was my birthday a month ago. Like, let's let's all play games online. Let's let's have like a birthday gaming stream or whatever. And we wanted to do Xbox. Nothing was working because just Xbox was just it was just down. Like some of the services just weren't working properly. So the games you owned, they uh, the system thought, oh, we can't tell if you own this game or not, so you can't play it. So even games that you own, that you've downloaded, that you have installed, because their little switch on their online network was just off or just wasn't working, nothing was working. I'm like, well, that's not good. (laughs) That just completely destroys an argument for digital games. Like you can't, you just can't play something that you have access to. Um, So I, I'm more on board for uh, physical stuff. So. I feel like this year more than ever I'm I'm more excited for uh seeing a presentation from Limited Run Games than I have been in the past. Whereas before I used to watch them like this is cool, it's not for me, but I understand it. Uh this time it's like, okay, I'm kinda interested. What kind of what kind of games are you showcasing? What do I need to buy that's physical? So uh I'd say I'm more interested than, than ever. Um they are still live. Actually let me just check. And I was hoping to catch like a YouTube stream so I can just go and rewind. No, they've been having a countdown stream for the past few days. <laughs> and we have ads playing every time I refresh. Uh, which is weird because I normally don't have ads when I'm on Twitch. Uh, it's especially like how I normally view on this account. So it's weird that I'm getting ads all of a sudden. Um, but yeah, so we I'm pulling up a a video of uh oh no wait the live stream's done on this one now no they're still live oh shoot i can't watch it then it says yeah oh no wait it started yesterday is this one still live uh da, 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 da. Let's see. this is still the countdown so the live stream i can't watch they don't even have a youtube version so we might be we might be sitting a while before i can actually watch i don't want to jump midway through I checked their YouTube channel, but they don't have a, a live stream there. It's just on Twitch. Uh, let's go to your, their YouTube. I might be signed into my personal account. Hold on. <laughs> Rated RP to M. I, I probably should be because I have premium, but. Um, okay, we might be, we might be sitting a while until they're, uh, oh no, wait, six minutes ago. There we go. So it's about an hour long, so that's, uh, that's not good for me. <laughs> I'm not, uh, might be crunching on some chips in that time. So here we go, limited run game showcase, 2022 showcase. Produced by Mega64 again. Rated RP to M. Sorry, it's loud. I'm going to Agent, small you're just in time. We've been looking for a BT specialist like you. We need your help. We have a hostage situation. We just received this video from the terrorist leader. Hello, agents. <laughs> I see you've ignored my demands. Well, ignore this. Now that I have your attention, we want a plane to South America. And if not, all the other hostages will get it. <laughs> Mega 64 is still very much Mega 64. I feel like they've never changed. 
These guys got 300 kilos of unauthorized trailers in that compound. That's why we need you, Agent. The last guy who had your job went missing two weeks ago. We found him on a beach in Mexico, relaxing, without a head. This is what we were able to recover from the body. Trailers, let's take a look. Oh. I still haven't played the first one. Looks like we found that uh, cool title, games cool art, cool music. I don't know if that kind of game play is for me though. I don't know. Watch out, we're under attack! This is fantastic. <laughs> Are they purposefully aiming for the dick every time? Nope. Okay. Hands on the face. Good shooting, Agent. I don't think any of them survived. You just saved Uncle Sam a whole lot of court fees. Let's find out what these guys had on them. Ha! Trailers. Let's see what this is all about. <laughs> you wake up one day and find it's all been a dream. Or you wake up and discover you've been asleep all the time and the nightmare is real. VR 61661, report to precinct headquarters. Code 3, repeat code 3. I'm McCoy, LPD Rep Detect Unit. Sometimes we're called Blade Runners. Oh. Year and a half on the job, it was still the dirtiest work I'd seen. I was saying this kind of looks Where's familiar. Yeah, don't get too excited. The other Blade Runners are all jammed up. Mind if I ask you a couple of questions? Two minutes. That's how much time this I give every stranger that wants This looks great. <laughs> you spot anything you think I ought to know about, tell me. Your suspect is obviously a replicant. A very dangerous one. I thought replicants were safe. More human than human. How about Mississippi? You know a lot about them? I'd play Not this. Killers, detective. They're innocents. They just want to live a decent, productive life like you or me. It's a very simple solution to an old design challenge. Give them jobs on Earth, and they will never desire a different life. Oh, those skin jobs got no respect for anything that truly lives and breathes. How'd you feel about taking a little test? You come into my shop and you want to VK me? Cough up some dirt early, or I'm taking this disc downtown. 
There could be a group of Nexus Sixes tracking down genetic designers. There are things I want to know. Take it easy, big fella. <laughs> I have nothing to fear from any of my children. You got the wrong place, Jack. They be holding you off the true light building across town. Oh, I swear. I want all the data you have on replica DNA structures, mutation studies, everything. I'm a Blade Runner. You don't believe me? Call Lieutenant Guza. We're closed. We're not here to buy, little man. Believe me, he's the least. This looks so. Um, this looks so cheesy in like the best ways. Dangerous. you're talking about ah, you got any idea how glad i am to see you no time for chit chat slim you want to save your ass gotta blow this joint right now i would prefer him alive if possible and now it's time to end this game i wonder how this game works it says like stuff is randomized it looks very much like story based like just click it point and click based uh, story game but it says there's like random scenarios or whatever I like that um this looks like what does this look like? Is this Quake? This isn't Quake, is it? It's very Quake-like. This is a port of something. I don't think I've ever played this. Definitely have never played this. Hold on. Were you shooting venom out of a cobra at your enemies? That's awesome. I will say, after playing Doom, I do like these kind of games. Power Slave! Available now? Where? Wow! It's a digital Those game? Fantastic. Let's head into the comp. Wait! I found some more trailers in the bag. Oh. Uh, let's watch those. Earth, the not so distant future. Solar flares and overcrowding have destroyed the world's food supply. From her secret lab at Ingest Corp, bioengineering billionaire Erica Soares creates an incredible breed of eight-legged creatures with all the meat and muscle humanity needs to survive. But will we survive the spider soul? I like these Contra style games too. There's a lot of guitar in this showcase. Why is everything switching PlayStation? There's no Xbox or PC titles?
Lunark. There's the Xbox game. All right, now we can go in. Sir, I found one more trailer at the very bottom of the bag. One more. <laughs> okay. There's, there's like another that one. 45 minutes. I would say um, I'm down for this, but I still haven't played um, that Xbox uh, similar style game. Cyberpunk, isometric kind of shooter. This looks more tactical though. This is a tactical game. Oh! Oh! I'm so stupid. Shadow That's a lot of good information, but there's even more inside. Sir, you'll never guess what I just found. <laughs> more trailers. <laughs> so did it say 3DS? Is this a 3DS game? Wait, 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 wait. They're releasing a physical 3DS game? It's fantastic. I love it. this company is very important. So this is a DS, these are DSiWare games that they're releasing in physical format because the eShop is closing down. Or is basically closed down now. And they don't look too bad. Like I wouldn't, these aren't games I would like go out and seek, but they look pretty good. Or together. Dual pack. How much? I might consider getting it. But probably not the collector set. Delisted. I can't even check what the eShop price is. Delisted. Oh, I like this. There's a Metroidvania. Metroidvania with like a classic cartoon look. Skeletal attack. This is definitely for me. Yell attack. Doom. I got stuck like early on in the original Doom. Doom 64, yeah. 
Um, I don't know why. I'm like, why am I stuck? I played through the, like, the rebooted Doom. That game was awesome. I had a lot of fun with that. I don't know why I can't play the old one. They're doing a lot of ports, uh, like old ports. This one. I don't know what these games are though. What? No way. <laughs> I tossed them. I think I got the license for that. That must have been difficult. Because those old licensed retro games you never see re-released anymore. Except for, I guess, like, some of the Disney ones, like Aladdin and Lion King. Um, but a lot of those licensed ones are like, no, it's too... First of all, you're bringing back a really old game that's probably from another publisher or developer that's defunct. So even if you pick up the properties or, or like, the assets or whatever... You also have to get the licensing from another studio that probably just doesn't care to re-release an old game. So, a lot of the old games like Bill and Ted, is like, you don't expect to ever see them again. That's great. Why are you whispering in my ear? Yeah, most of these games are PlayStation and Switch. Some of them may be on other platforms. I also need to play through these games. I bought a whole bunch of them because I'm like, they look a lot of fun and like right up my alley. And they're reviewed very well and they're highly regarded games. But I still haven't played any of them. They're, they're in my backlog. I don't think I own the Game Boy version though. Maybe. Maybe I have it on my 3DS from the eShop. Listen up, new guy. You might be the fancy pants BT specialist, but I'm still top. Hold on. Dog around here. Hold on. We got a report. I need to go back. You might be the fancy Wait a minute. Oh, these are. I was like, are they actually re releasing the Game Boy Color games? No, these are like little things that you can stick onto this display. I was like, is that what I'm looking at? <laughs> new guy, you might be the fancy pants BT specialist, but I'm still top dog around here. We got a report from HQ that Mr. Super Villain has a private zoo on the property where he might be keeping the payload. I'm going undercover as a zookeeper to see what I can find out. <laughs> Pay attention, rookie. You might just <laughs> learn something.
Going undercover dressed as a zookeeper. <laughs> What I just found in the belly of the beast. A trailer. Wait, 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 wait. Oh. I've never played these either. My, uh, my upbringing, I did play retro games, is a very limited selection. Like, I got into, like, my parents and my family got me into gaming around the Game Boy Color N64 PS1 era. But I played those other consoles from, like, other older consoles from friends and family. But it's a limited selection of games, whatever they had. That's all I played. So a lot of this stuff, I'm... I'm like, I have a retro gaming PC, so I'm like, visiting a lot of this stuff for the first time. Twin B. I know about Twin B. That's on the Switch right now, isn't it? Konami Arcade Classics. I'll consider picking that up. Every time, I feel like every time they gotta showcase an old Star Wars game that they're bringing back. They seek the death of all Jedi. We cannot hope to triumph against them alone. Did they bring back the one that I played may not be enough. on N64? You know not what path you walk, Jedi. She is no Jedi. You felt it. She has lost herself. In you, we saw a wound in the Force. In you, we saw the end of the Force. And now, we shall see what you have become. Knights of the Old Republic. Um, let me search. This is probably not for me. I don't think they did. Um, I know it's available on Steam, or it got delisted on Steam like a year ago. I can't remember. I'll probably look up for that. Uh, yeah, I think it was Shadows of the Empire. I think that's what, what it was. Yeah, that's the one I played. And I played a little bit of Rogue Squadron, but not a whole lot. Like the beginning of Rogue Squadron. I'm not a big Star Wars guy. Garden story. This looks like Castlevania character.
Can you play vertically? I want to get one of those stands for the Switch where you can, like, stand it vertically and play those arcade games. I feel like every other showcase has like crazy guitar playing. Cool. There's not too many too many um shmups that I've played. Proudly presents. Ooh, can you stay that rating pending? Criterion style video games. Oh, what is this? Oh, this is a. Uh... What is this? Oh, I've heard of this. I don't know anything about it, though. <laughs> Deleted scenes. I've never played any of those type of games. I, I want to try them out, though. I see them on sale all the time on the eShop. <laughs> oh man, aliens! This is so demoralizing. Wait, we're getting a call from HQ. Agents, it's good to see you. I hope you're giving those bad guys hell. Do you think limited run games just went to Mega 64 and just said, and limited run games. just make something? <laughs> Pre-orders for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And we'll fit the trailers around it. And every copy sold through Limited Run Games and major U.S. retailers will include a free Pizza Hut personal pan pizza. And not only I'm in. But they'll Let's have a VHS style classic edition that includes the game in a steelbook and a fully loaded Ultimate Collector's Edition that cool. includes an actual exclusive Shredder action figure from Playmates. And a strategy Damn. guide and miniature arcade replica. I don't really like beat em ups. Maybe I'll give this a try though. I never played this game. your mission agents take this free pizza hut personal pan pizza to restore your health and power you up cowabunga dudes oh good the pizza hut transmitter is working i feel refreshed <laughs> let's kick some alien ass i love that <laughs> i love this stalling <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha 
Good shooting, Agent. Let's see what these aliens were getting up to. Oh, look at this! Trailers! Let's pop these in, see what they're all about. I'm ready for, like, the big announcement. Which, like, again, yes, I need to buy that. There's some cool stuff I'm interested in. Like power slave. Vlad the Vampire. Am I supposed to know what this is? Cigarette Interactive presents American Hero. Get it? Coming soon to physical through limited run games. Starring Timothy Bottoms. Down a madman bent on world domination. Shoot them both! It's gonna be an explosive summer. Mm -hmm. American hero. Yeah, I gotta try one of these games one day. They look like nonsense fun. Alright, no more crunchy snacks. Is this another FMV? Now, ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get ready to rumble!
Oh, that's this one's on Switch. It's just PlayStation. Oh shit! Is this like uh? This is like a. Um, was it Hyperscape or whatever? What did I play? What was that game I played? Another FMV? It wasn't Hyperscape. Hyperscape's a shooter. What the. Was that ninja game? Oh, this one I know about. I feel like this is the big one that everybody talks about. For PS5. I'll switch to uh, this here. And I'm not stuffing my face. Chips. That is hilarious. I was looking up 3DO games the other day and I saw D. That's interesting. Another shmup. How do you play these games? They look crazy. Let's look at all this shit happening. Glover's back! <clears throat> I didn't- I didn't know this game existed when I was a kid. Probably because it wasn't Mario 64. <laughs> like... Like, I learned, there's more, I don't know, like the past five years, maybe, I learned about this game.
something changed my heart could not contain the new hope of this world and all that it creates with every passing day the winds might grow stronger <laughs> as you guys start bringing this Carrying up random controllers to the screen here. Hold on. I got more. I got more. Hold on. I got more. I got more. Get the silly controller. Two of these. I'm running out. I got more. The rest of them are upstairs. <laughs> That's hilarious. I gotta put all this stuff back. So, that's a pretty big deal. This is Luminous, right? Or no, Tetris Effect. Wait, what? Wait, oh my god, I wasn't paying attention. It's Tetris Effect. So Tetris Effect, <clears throat> it was Tetris Effect only digital? I didn't know that. That's cool, it's getting a physical release. I love this Vita mod though. The blue buttons. And my Switch mod. Got the white back with the uh, transparent Joy-Con. <clears throat> I'm probably not playing this game. I don't see myself ever playing this game. I do like puzzle games, but that doesn't look fun. <laughs> Frog gun. Just beyond that door is the final boss. Ha! Wait till he gets a load of us. <laughs> now, Winch it now! Good work on that bed trap, Agent. <laughs> I guess that's why they call you the. BT specialist. Agent, I just checked the bio stats of this next room. This whole place is pressure sensitive. That means if more than one person goes in there, this whole complex will explode. Looks like that means you're going in solo, Agent. Don't worry. Just remember your training and you'll make it out alive. Or we'll try again with the next guy. <laughs> Shot. Let's see what you got. <laughs> what? <laughs> nice shooting. 
shooting agent. The only group of guys he'll be leading from now on is the funeral procession. <laughs> Looks like mission accomplished. Great job, agent. Good night. At the end of it? Oh, yeah, it is. Oh, wait. There's one more thing. Look what he had on him. A little trailer. Here. Why don't you take this one home to your kids? Here's the big one. It's Doom? We bring back the original, or, uh... It will give you strength. This, this is the one for the Xbox, isn't it? The original Xbox? This was the first rebooted Doom? Oh, Doom Eternal? That was Doom Eternal? Mm, that looked good. Hey, didn't you say it more than That looked Xbox graphics to me. <laughs> yeah. Like original Xbox. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Uh, not much to say there. There's uh, <clears throat> there's not a lot to, uh, that I think was for me in that showcase. Um, there were a lot. There was some cool stuff. So I will say that um, there was enough for me to be interested enough where I want to look back or like look up a list of the games and then see. Because right now I can't I can't pull up some of them that are saying like pre order or um, or live now or whatever or available now. So I at least want to like look at what the prices are. I might be interested in picking up a physical copy of those games. Um, but there wasn't a whole lot that spoke out to me. Um, so I will say, probably going to be one of the weaker of the showcases that we're going to see during Summer Game Fest. Um, we saw PlayStation State of Play, which I think had at least some like one thing for everyone. Um, like there was like I'm I I don't have um. Like, PlayStation is not my main console. You did see I, I held up the, the PlayStation controller. I got the Vita there. <laughs> um, but I do, uh, I do like a lot of PlayStation games. Um, so there's at least stuff that are like, oh, that's cool. Or like the VR stuff. I'm like, yeah, if, if I, I'm, I'm not like interested in VR, but I'm like, if I was, there's like cool stuff that I would want to check out. Um, and, yeah, we got the limited run showcase now. So now what we got coming up is the actual Summer Game Fest kickoff. So that's going to be the big one. So that's on Thursday. Again, we're going to be doing a live reaction on Spawn Trap when it's uh, when it's live, not like a after the fact reaction like I'm doing right now because I couldn't watch this live. But uh, yeah, live during the Summer Game Fest, we're going to be watching that. That's followed by Day of the Devs, which we didn't do a reaction for last year, but we're going to do one now. And then that's followed by the um, Devolver Digital Showcase, which, which they're not calling Devolver, Di Devolver Direct this year. They're calling it like Countdown to Digital Marketing or something like that. <laughs> but those are always like a crazy time. <laughs> they're insane showcases for like not the reasons you expect if you've never watched them but um they do kind of continue on it's like a continuous story so i would recommend watching like the previous years they put on a show and everything <laughs> but i do love a lot of uh devolver get digital games so i'm excited for that that's going to be a fun day so we're doing that on thursday over on twitch.tv slash spawn trap games they will get archived later on the youtube channel um, and then we're doing Saturday events, but we're not doing them live. We, none of us can watch them live. We're going to consolidate all of them into one giant, giant stream Saturday night, which I think is at 10 PM Eastern. I think we decided on, which means I'm not getting in to sleep. 
because there's like five showcases. We five showcases we're probably watching back to back. Who knows how long each of them are? I would say we're it's gonna be at least five hours long. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why. Like we might have to make some cuts somewhere. And then uh, Sunday morning is what I think is the one that I'm most excited for. That's the Xbox Bethesda showcase, followed by the PC gaming show, which I'm not. That's probably what I'm least excited for, but uh, that's gonna be fun. So all of that's over on Spawn Trap Games. Uh, our schedules on the Twitter. I, I need to update our schedule on the Twitch right away. Um, but for now, I am starving. I need to go eat something. Um, so yeah, we will see you there.